All right, let's look at how to set up an anonymous FTP server on Ubuntu Linux. So first of all, I am logged in as root and I have access and I'm going to install the packages. So apt install VS FTPD. So for that's a very secure FTP daemon. And I also want to get the FTP client. That could be just FTP, but that's kind of like an alias package for the TN FTP client. So I go ahead and I download these packages and then I have it installed. So the first thing I want to do is, well, let's go ahead and start the server. So I can do apt install or apt system CTL start VS FTPD. All right. So now it's started. If I want to enable it, and so it starts at boot time, I can do enable VS FTPD, and that will make it so it's starting on boot time. Now, what we want is an anonymous FTP server. If I type uh, FTP localhost and type in anonymous, it says put in the password. I can type in some password. Um, and it will fail. Now, the problem is that it does not know how to do that, how to do anonymous. It's disabled. So we're going to go ahead and make some changes. So I do nano on the etc vsftpd.com file. And I scroll down and I find the section where it says anonymous enable. I want to change that to yes, we do want anonymous. And local enable. This is for local accounts. So if I have a local user on my machine, do I want them to be able to log in through FTP? Well, FTP is not secure by default. It doesn't have any encryption. So everything's plain text, which makes it very vulnerable to password sniffing and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and change this to a no. And in addition to having anonymous set up, I need to have a directory tree where they can download files from. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. So I do a n o n root anon root equals, and I tell it some directory. So I'll do var ftp. That's a great directory. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and exit out. And because I've made configuration changes, I want to make those take effect. So I'll do system ctl restart vs ftpd and restart the service. Now that directory, I created it, but, well, I didn't create it. I told it where to go, but I haven't created it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the directory. So make directory var FTP. And now I'm gonna go into that directory var FTP and make a file. So no files here. So I will echo hello into that file. hello.txt. So now I've got this hello.txt file. I can cat it out and it has the contents. Well, hello. All right. Now I'm going back to my root directory and see there's nothing there. And I want to go ahead and FTP over to my server. So I'll do FTP localhost. And this time I'm going to use anonymous, A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. The password is typically an email address. It just wants it to be an email address. So if I do something at gmail.com, it says, that's great. You're logged in. Now I can do ls and see what files are there. I can do dir. There's lots of different commands you can use, but I want to get that file hello.txt. So I type in get hello.txt. And then this will initiate the transfer, copies it over. I can type in buy and leave. And then I can see that it has downloaded the file right here. And I can look at the contents and see that I have downloaded it. So that's how you set up an anonymous FTP server and how you can use a client to connect to it and download a file.